Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back, Virgos. How are you guys? Welcome back to another installment of your love life. <laughs> if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. For those of you who are returning, good to see you. Let's see what's going on in Virgo's love life saga. So I know some of you have been asking for personal readings. Click the link in the description box below this video. Um, you may be asked to confirm if you are over 18. So make sure you don't request a reading if you are under 18. All right, let's take a look here, Virgo. What's going on? Oh, what's this weirdness? There's a magnetic pull in these cards. What? I don't know if you could see that. It, it felt very difficult to pull away. What's going on here? That's strange. I never um, felt that before. What is this? Okay. Well, that might be indicative of something here, Virgo. Might be indicative. So this reading is going to go from the time you listen to it um, and forward, okay? So, all right, let me see here. That was just such a strange feeling. It just felt like the cards were connected, like some something here to do with a, a difficulty, having a hard time letting go of something, or someone's having a really hard time letting go of you. There's a very strong, it's like the further apart you get, the stronger the vibration between you. Okay, very bizarre. How bizarre, how bizarre. All right, Virgo, let's get into your reading. <laughs> I know some of you are like, are you kidding? King of Cups is here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Let's see. Six of Cups. Mercury retrograde is over. A lot of the retrogrades are finished. I believe the middle of December, Venus retrograde starts. Oh my goodness, Nine of Cups, Virgo, Ace of Swords, Two of Wands, Four of Cups, Ten of Wands, The Magician, and The Chariot. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Cancer here twice, Scorpio here twice, Gemini. Okay, if that resonates for you, great. If it doesn't, just take what fits and leave the rest. Remember, it's a general love reading. Okay, so some of the messages may or may not resonate. Why am I shuffling? Okay, I guess they wanted you to know something has ended. Somebody feels betrayed. Somebody's hitting some kind of like rock bottom. Who? This is in regard to some kind of connection here, a love relationship, the Two of Cups energy. Um, maybe you and somebody were on the same page about something at one time and something ended. Uh, somebody might have been communicating with another person, could be an Aquarius. A uh, lot of love messages popping in here or were or could be right now. Hmm. Okay, there's a tower. Wow. It feels like a major, like somebody feels like, it, all right, so they're just giving me this energy. If you're not connecting with someone or you have a past person, um, first of all, they have like, <laughs> you guys, when I show you this card, right, this is like explosive. It can be like explosive orgasm. So this person, could be you thinking about somebody or them thinking about you, but this kind of feels to me like oh, they feel disgraced or they feel like they're in ruins. Their life is in ruins. So this person um, maybe lost a lot of money. Maybe they were gambling, could be, or they lost a lot of money and they're trying to get their money back. Okay, placing some really shit vet shit shit bets you 
you know, I just kind of feel like these stories keep playing out the same old, same old. Like I've got somebody here who just was very insecure, did not want to let go of you, is waiting for you, maybe waiting for you to return or connect with them. Okay, let's get into this reading because something real strange is going on here. Let's see. Let me get the love messages here. Okay. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I say that all the time. I knew this card was going to come up because I was thinking about this card. I think somebody asked me about the blue and purple moons on the back of the card. I don't know which deck she is talking about. Um, this is the Romance Angels deck. I don't have a deck with blue and purple moons or purple and pink moons. So maybe this is the one, but there's like somebody, listen, Virgo, you got somebody here who's really clinging on to you. Finances and career. Yeah, this person lost a lot of money. They're trying to make get like get their fortunes back. Um, it's having a really deep effect on this connection or it will be going forward. Very strange. Because I feel like there might be somebody also, for some of you, who came into a lot of money and it completely destroyed their lives. Or they built a new home. I just heard that somebody built a new home and I also feel like somebody is waking up to the fact that they want a long-term relationship or commitment. You left, you left something. Some of you might be communicating with um, an Aquarius right now, but you You left something or um, I feel like this person is freeing themselves up to either travel or come to where you are or connect with you. So if you're at a distance to each other, that could be happening. But there's like um, very speedy communication coming here with, from somebody. There's like you're going to get some news about somebody or somebody you're connecting with or we're connecting with who is coming for you. They're coming for you, Virgo. They're coming at you. They're free. This person's no longer, I feel, trapped. They might have been absent. They're no longer going to be in absence anymore. I know that Mercury retrograde is over. Um, I feel like this person is going to take a chance with you. This could be somebody that you're connecting with right now. There's two people here I see who came together after a loss. Or, or a relationship or something ending. All right, let's get into the reading. So you've got a King of Cups here. So somebody is showing up in this King of Cups energy where they're being very um, emotional very tremendously emotional but the king of cups doesn't usually wear their um their emotions on their sleeve they keep those feelings and emotions very deep deep buried deep down although this person does come through as someone who's very supportive and um let's take a look a little bit more here Gosh, the Four of Pentacles. I feel like this shows up all the time, and it's here again. So somebody's not letting you go. Now, it doesn't have to be a water sign. It's just that they're coming through in, in that way. Okay, somebody. Now, if this is somebody new, for some of you it could be, but right now I'm not getting that because the Six of Cups is here, and that feels like a reconciliation situation. But this person is very guarded. They're keeping their emotions to themselves. And this is kind of like how they are all the time. Now, all right, give me a second. They're giving me some numbers. Somebody was born in 1969. Um, somebody was born on January 24th. <clears throat> 
um, picking up October 1st or the 7th. I'm also picking up a July birthday, June or July. Okay, and for some of you, um, if you were born, um, these are, okay, so they're saying this message will be specific for those of you who have these birthdays. Um, September 6th, September 9th, September 1st, 12th, 14th, or 2nd, September 10th, 7th or 11th, okay? Oh, and um, they're just saying also August 24th, okay. Whew. What was that? I guess there's a message, a very strong message here that you need to have. Okay, so yeah, this person's coming in. They're very guarded. They are just kind of like, they definitely want to be with you. They don't want to let go. I don't feel like they want to let go of you all. I feel like they're really greedy. They come in this very, it feels possessive. It feels greedy energy. Okay, it feels like someone who's just has a, just, they're holding on. They are holding on. They are not letting you out of their sights. They are kind of like, they're definitely in, hmm, it feels like thinking mode, but I also feel like this person has some codependency issues. So there might be a little bit of manipulation attached <clears throat> to them. And they might have an addiction. They might have, like, they might be like a hoarder of money or they spend, like they have like, um, they could be greedy with their money or they spend a lot of money or they gamble. And I feel like they kind of like go up and down with um, maybe betting or, or just like some addictions or of some sort. And they, this person hides their addictions, okay? They hide this energy. They don't want anyone to know um, or they just kind of block that from anybody assuming that's what's going on with them. The Six of Cups is here, so I'm seeing a reconciliation. I'm seeing a reach out. I'm seeing... Um, This person has got like a lot of like they're nostalgic about you I, if you knew them in the past or you knew this person they just keep thinking about you it's like from time to time this just giving me this energy when they are alone or when they have some downtime they think about like they have memories maybe you had a connection with them before they think about how they felt when they were in talking to you or being with you it just feels like a lot of memories here okay and I feel like this person's coming in with some type of a gift or um, an apology for something let's get some clarity on this okay ten of Pentacles is here again huh something about sorry I didn't uh, that sorry that all right so these are the apologies that are coming through um, sorry that you weren't able to buy the house. Uh, sorry that, sorry about the business. Sorry about the house. Um, sorry about your grandfather or your father. I'm hearing that. And then there's an apology about the, the dog. <laughs> Something to do with the, a dog. Um, there's also something here to do with children, either wanting to, somebody wants to see the baby or see the kids. Somebody wants to be back into, uh, move home, move back in, I feel, or come back to work. I don't know how this is connecting with you guys. So just bear with me. If the message resonates great. Um, Hmm. Sorry, there's something. Sorry, I caused some conflict within the family, or the. Yeah, did I say loss of a home? I feel like loss of a like a foreclosure or something. 
a sorry apology for leaving you alone. You might have been connecting with somebody and they were talking to another person and they just kind of went with that. They just went in that direction with somebody else and something didn't get off the ground or the situation just fell apart or the situation fell apart and then they started talking to somebody else and it fell and that fell apart. Okay. So Virgo, this person, I mean, I just feel like they think about you all the time. You know, this person used to have this looking for quick result kind of thing, that kind of energy connecting with you and just trying to get their needs met. And like, it was, it just feels like visions of grandeur. I'm not really sure what's going on. And I don't feel like they're in that energy anymore. I feel like this person wishes good health for you. And I feel like they look at you and they just feel like you are like everything they could ever want, everything that they need. You really give them, <laughs> I, they just gave me the word satiation, satiated. You, you, you complete me. <laughs> Maybe their name's Jerry. <laughs> you complete me. That's what I'm hearing. You are the only one for this person, Virgo. You complete me. Ooh. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, they're so sad. This person's like really, at a, at a, they feel really lost without you. They have a lot of regret. They have a lot of regret. Something that you're doing right now, Virgo, where you're really um, being true to yourself. You know, we talk about that all, all the time here. And I feel like you're really loving yourself at this time. There's a sense of loss here from, coming from this person. They're uncertain. I feel like this person wants to come into alignment with you, but they're, they're, they think that you are, you freed yourself from them and you're not trying to be with them. Let me see her. I feel like you, some of you abandoned this person or left them. They might've left you first and then you just didn't go after them and you just left them as well. You guys were like in the circle and this person moved out of the circle and then you were just left standing there and then they didn't come back so you got out of the circle as well. So there's this sense of feeling unloved or abandoned, abandonment on both sides. I feel like both of you, somebody left the circle because they were either they had to travel or they were getting love messages or Cupid's arrow was hitting them and they got struck. Okay, yeah. They're just telling me an opportunity came in for this person and they ran with it. And it just completely fell apart, the tower energy. It was like such a bad decision. It feels like it was just not what they expected. It just fell apart. The whole world fell apart. They made some kind of a change here in this connection and then the tower hit and just everything got destroyed in their life. See, it could have been a friend that they were connecting with, but there was flirting. I feel like there might've been flirting or something, you know, and then look, it just, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. And now they're looking back your way and they're like, I don't feel like this person really ever let you go. I feel like this person was just perhaps talking with somebody, you know, um, with not really intentions of it going that way, but somebody might have seduced them. Um, and they, they got caught up in something. And now they're regretting it. They regret trying to go get their uh, wishes fulfilled through somebody else. Okay, whether it was like physical intimacy um, or just, I don't know what was going on with you guys, why they felt the need to do this. Maybe there was, maybe there was distance and then the relationship didn't feel like it was satisfying and this person, somebody reached out to them and they got pulled in that direction. 
And a lot of you are just like, okay, fine, MFR. I'm going to go love myself and put you on the back burner. And I feel like some of you just did that. Some of you fought. Some of you fought to have the relationship back or bring this person back in. Some of you like might have been like texting like crazy, you know, or constantly reaching out or initiating, trying to like offer some kind of an opportunity or something to them. And I feel like maybe they just left and they just didn't really respond to you or they just decided no. But I see here, they're coming in with some communication here. This Ace of Swords, definitely. I feel like most is, look, I, listen, Virgo, I just feel like this person has codependency issues. Do you know what I mean? Like it feels like this person, they can't be on their own. This person cannot be on their own. I feel like they kind of go wherever the wind takes them. If somebody's giving them a lot of attention or something, I feel like no matter how much attention you would have given this person, it just was not enough for them. And if somebody else came along and gave them attention, you know, I, I just feel like they rolled in the direction, like wh whoever was drawing them in or somebody tried to seduce them. And whoever was trying to draw them in, I feel like this person just would go in that direction. They were very easily manipulated and they very much manipulate others. Okay. But it feels more so that they are very much easily, that they are more easily manipulated. And now I don't, something's happening here. I feel like there's a loss. This person is, I see them just kind of standing out here right now. Okay. I can't pick the card up. It's all right. We'll figure it out. I feel like this person is standing out there by themselves, holding onto their wand and wondering who's going to come and take the other one, right? They're by themselves. They're alone. They don't, this person just like, they feel they're at a crossroads. They have to make a decision here about your relationship or about this. This person's waiting to make it. Like, I feel like, I feel like this person got rejected by somebody else who just was not interested in them or was just indifferent to them. Somebody else that they were connecting with probably saw that they were just, this is their energy or they knew something about them, that this is how they always are, that this person is very uh, just fluid and not very grounded. And I feel like whoever they were talking to um, just kind of left them feeling um Oh, that's what they just said. They just said to me, your person was just seeking attention. They get a lot of love offers because they have something about them. And they were just talking. They might have just been flirtatious or talking with someone. And this pers the person they were talking to wanted more with them. And your person just wasn't all that into them. And it just kind of fell apart. The problem is, though, maybe you found out about it or you were just... They were just kind of pulling their energy away and you suspected maybe they were talking to somebody else and you said, F this. And they weren't making you a priority. I feel like some of you were like, they weren't making you a priority. So you just went and did your own thing and you left them. I don't listen. When this energy shows up in a reading codependency, this is a foolproof guarantee that if this person doesn't heal this issue, you're stuck with them forever because they're addicted to you and to the relationship. But the Ace of Swords is here. So this person's coming in to initiate communication. I feel like November 1st, they're gonna initiate some communication with you, okay? They're gonna tell you some kind of truth. They've been like stressed without you. They had poor judgment and they were dishonest. And that's what the truth is that they're coming in with. Okay, they wanna overcome some obstacles that you guys might've had. Or that that was, yep. See, the sun, they're definitely going to open up. Positive energy, they're going to open up to you. That's Leo energy. Maybe they were connecting with a Leo. Or your person's a Leo. Oh my goodness, or a Taurus. Look, this person, they're going to tell, they want to be in a committed relationship with you. They want to make this connection here with you, with the higher font. Okay. They want to conform 
to what you guys had or what you can have. Okay. Um, oh, um, hmm. I just got this message, something about keys. Like this, they want to, um, they have some keys for you that they're gonna bring to you. They may message you and ask you about keys or tell you that they are they have the keys or they wanna bring the keys back or they wanna give you keys to their place. I just heard. Or um, they want, oh, I just heard um, something about buying a home somewhere together where it's very sunny. They may tell you they just bought a new home, they're on their own, and they wanna give you the key to their home. Interesting message. Okay, so the two of wands here. Yeah, this person's like standing at the crossroads here. They're waiting for the right time to make some kind of decision. Now this fella here is holding the world card, uh, the world. So there's something here about whether or not to travel or relocate or move somewhere across the world. All right, let's see. Wow, Three of Swords. Definitely, I feel like there was some kind of argument or a third third party situation for some of you. Oh boy, just waiting for the right time to apologize to you. November 1st, I'm picking up November 1st. Okay. Um, apology about like a divorce for some or for some of you had surgery i'm sorry i wasn't there for your surgery or i didn't reach out to you during that situation okay sorry for breaking your heart you know um or putting you into some kind of struggle or depression or something hmm. so this four of cups here yeah this person feels like um They want your love. They want you to um, initiate a new love beginning, like an emotional. They feel um, they don't want to disappoint you anymore, I feel here. They know they let you down. Let's see, but there's a surprise coming in. Wow, the hermit just flipped right out in reverse. Oh boy, you guys, they want you to come out or they want to open up like, see, this is a card of isolation. This person is very, in a reverse, this person is like extremely cut off from everyone. Um, I feel like they, I mean, this things that they're going to say to you is going to surprise you. Like this person is aware that they kept repeating these same mistakes over and over again with you. And um, they've just kept you stuck in something. And I really feel like they had, um, they might've been indifferent to love, like, a, like true deep love. This person maybe, it feels like if someone came in and gave them the cup of love or, or attention, then they ran with it. But when it came to like the deep love connection, feels like this person would isolate themselves or just disappear you know i like to say pull a pull a laundry just disappear okay um but i just feel like this they're very addicted to you they're not going anywhere this past person i know you guys i know you're like well i'm moving on moving on bring me new love bring me new love yeah Okay, we're gonna take it. We're gonna take a look at new love after this. So stick around. Okay, we're definitely gonna take a look and see what the new love energy is here. Um, I can tell you that right now this person is trying to get back up on track financially. There's no doubt. But I see them coming to the end of some kind of struggle here in their life. Uh, some burden that they've been. This is. I just heard like the burden of guilt. They've carried this burden of guilt for what the upheaval that they caused and the change that they've caused in this connection, okay? 
Yeah, wow, it's interesting. Five of Swords in the reverse, okay? The abuse, apology for the, for the abuse. Now I'm not seeing anything here that tells me that this person was a narcissist, okay? If it shows up, I will tell you, I feel like it's along the spectrum of being highly selfish. If you want to call that narcissism, go ahead, but it's just highly selfish. It doesn't feel like this person had a really big, nasty ego, but I feel like at times that would show up. And with the Five of Swords reversed, this feels to me like this person is completely unable to move on from you. Okay, they're stagnant in their love life right now. They're 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 struggling. Um, there's some travel issues as well, but it just kind of gives me a sense that this person um, is. They got caught. They got caught. They some of you caught this person, or somebody caught them doing something. They were trying to hide. They were trying to hide something, hide behind the trees. <laughs> Just so you know, I, I'm predicting Brian Laundry is going to be caught November 1st. But they were trying to like hide or October. No, the f yeah, the week of the first. But they were just trying to hide and they got caught here. They got found out either by some, either you caught them or the other person they were talking to caught them still talking to you or something they caught they found somebody found out something about your person okay and i feel like they were trying to hide this maybe your relationship so the magician is here okay let me see what's going on okay well emperor reverse there's your narcissist very very nasty ego okay very immature type of a person um this person um like has like power power issues be very careful you guys i feel like in finances and career this person takes on that narcissistic energy where you know they have to be in that position in order to be super successful. But when it comes to personal relationships, you just want to be careful. But I will tell you that since it's since, since this person got caught stealing money, that's what they just told me. It sits here with finances and career. So I feel like this person's a bit of um, a master manipulator when it comes to career and money. They manipulate the stock markets. They they steal, or they have stolen, or they have a tendency to like fudge numbers. Maybe they steal, like they don't do their taxes properly, or something along those lines. Um, they 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 play with numbers. They lie on credit reports and loans, or they use, or they have used, or they use somebody else's name. This person might be a car salesman or like a salesperson, okay? They got caught, listen, you guys, they got caught doing something. Um, it, yeah, I just kind of feel like it feels like would change. Like, I don't know if they, they lost a lot of money or they got caught doing something. So <sighs> this person for some of you, listen, they're, they're going to court. I am not even kidding you. They have gotten a lawyer or they've gotten um, a summons or someone like in a legal, like the police perhaps, or someone like the law. The law was at their door. The law or the law is coming to their door. <sighs> now, hold on a minute. I feel like this person is really. Be careful. Okay, this is a message for some of you. Be careful that this apology that's coming in from this person isn't like a ruse to try and get money from you or extort money from you for something. You guys, 
if they come in asking you for a few dollars or they want to connect with you or whatever a few pounds or whatever and they want to connect with you and they're coming in with see i'm not trusting this here we go here we go it's coming out now that's why you guys got to stick around for the reading because sometimes things like in, right in the beginning it's it's still too early be careful somebody remember when i was telling you that somebody might have tempted them or um a, did something or something got aroused in your person and it might very well be that they got like a money offer or something from either another lover or somebody else like i i'm just feeling like some type of an addiction here or money of uh, gambling or something this person like bets a lot or they buy high like they i don't know they lost money they're trying to get it back just be very careful please if this is your story if this is resonating with you i feel like you're going to get like a reach out from somebody here trying to where they've been in isolation and they haven't been really communicating with you they definitely have some legal problems. This is Libra energy. We have Aries here, another Virgo, Taurus, Leo. Um, just be very careful with what you don't get gaslighted. Don't get manipulated. We have Pisces. There's Aquarius, Scorpio. Just be very careful. Let me just take a look at this justice card. Yeah, this person tried to is trying was tried to get away. They're getting brought back. I feel like they might have evaded the authorities. For some of you, you haven't heard from this person. That's what that's what happened. They ran away. They tried to escape. Now they're in trouble. Now they're in a pickle. And I feel like they're gonna be reaching out to you to ask for help. See if you can help them in some way financially. See, financial issues are a factor in your love life here with this person. Yeah, so just please be careful. Please be mindful of what, you know, is coming down the line here. And I really feel like that's the strongest message. And as you know, now listen, this doesn't have to be a lover. Um, this could be, oh, maybe she was asking about this deck, you guys. This is the Moonology deck. Um so it doesn't have to be a lover it, they could have stolen from a family member or a friend or work okay but this had a huge effect on your relationship if you were married to this person um you guys went broke or there was foreclosure or you lost a home or you know something to do with their addictions they're coming in to apologize for that but there's also they have legal trouble attached to this if you weren't like in any kind of um uh financial bind or something um they may come in and and like fess up and tell you what happened to them but then they may try to see if you'll lend them some money never ever lend anybody money <laughs> unless you i mean unless you have it in writing that they're going to pay you back or you have some kind of like legal thing with them i, mean, I don't care if you want to lend them like a couple of bucks to go buy like i don't know soda or something but like that big money no 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 all right, let me see. A new start is coming. Okay, you have the new moon. Yeah, this is true. Listen, right, do we have a new moon coming? No, we have a full moon coming up. When the new moon arrives, I don't know what date that's going to be, but you'll know because you won't see it in the sky. But when the new moon comes... This is when all this energy is going to start shifting towards you with this person reaching out like this. Confidence is your key to success. Okay, new moon in Leo. Hmm. So if you have moon in Leo, you may need to be very confident in your dealings with this person. Like don't get snowed. Stay like in your power stay in your strength because that's what the leo card is self-respect um 
Let me see. Okay, Moon and Taurus. If you Moon and Taurus, your message here is your dreams need a practical plan. And I feel like this person is definitely, listen, I have to tell you, I'm picking up, this is also energy for this person. Like they're going to try to like restart something here with you and they're going to come in with confidence. Um, their dream is to get you to help them with a financial issue, maybe bail them out or do something with money, okay, in regard to your relationship with them. Um, but they're, they've schemed, they've cooked something up here, a practical plan to try to get you to, you know, give them or help them something here. I mean, they're going to, they're going to appear to lay all their cards on the table. It's going to, they are going to come in and tell you the truth, but it's, it's not going to be like, because they're coming in to confess their undying love and it's not connected to humility and, you know, that. It feels like a ruse. It just feels like a ruse. This is a sucky ass reading. Okay, it's time to take action. Yeah, be careful. Oh my goodness. I've never had a message like this before. They might ask just to borrow money for their gambling addiction. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what your other messages are here for. What's going on with you guys? I can't wait to get in the singles. This is a shit reading. <laughs> I mean, if this is happening to you, um, it may not resonate for all of you. Okay, so let me just make a real simple statement here. If it's not resonating for you, Spirit wants you to know this person is going to come back and they are going to try to talk to you about stuff. They are going to try to bring in the um, apology this person does not want to let you go they are intent on having you in their life but just be careful how they are when they come in be very just question things with them you know because you need to find out if they got caught doing something and that's why they're coming back because they got caught or because they truly see the error of their ways in the ways that they've hurt you. Okay. You might've caught them at something or, or this other person, right? Cause I kind of, I'm just seeing like a pinball. I feel like this person pinballs all over the board because of their addiction and their codependency. All right. Let's see here. Oh, wow. They gave you a whole bunch of cards. So I guess we'll just take them. Okay. Bossy mail. Okay, this person may be coming in as very like aggressive, kind of bossy, someone who, oh, they just told me like a little bit of a bully, okay, for some. And for others, this person's coming in like very charming um, with this like um, leadership way about them, okay, a bit assertive and aggressive. Your message here is stand your ground with this person. Look, they're coming in. They have a, some kind of financial loss. Oh my gosh. That, listen, you can't make this up. Spirit does not lie. This person's coming in with, from financial loss. They have a financial decision that they're trying to like make here that includes you and money in the bank is reversed, which means this person is broke and they need money they need finance financial help they need your help okay may not be a lover it could be a friend or a family member or some like a, a colleague at work or something along those lines i just feel the message is very strong it could be your boss <laughs> for some of you just the message is very strong to just take heed take heed however this comes in because some of you have been burned before by this person or other people, like something comes out in the wash, you find out about something here and somebody might even tell you what's going on with this person or how they are. They might tell you to like lock up your money, hide your bank accounts, your passwords, don't give them any money. That's, a, that's such a bizarre message that's coming in here. Okay, but this is what's happening. 100%. The cards, they just clarified it. 100%. For those of you who have this, if this resonates for you, definitely, like this person's fallen on hard times. They're in ruins right now. And you, Virgo, are very giving. You're very, like, you want to help. 
that kind of thing. But um, you also have the gift of discernment, Virgo. Maybe you don't realize that. If you do, make sure that you use that. And you need to like, because this person's coming in very sketch, and you need to like really do a background check. Well, even if this is somebody new, you need to like keep your eyes and ears peeled. All right, let me see what else is your advice here. And then we're going to do, we are definitely going into the singles. Okay. Wow. Nine of Pentacles. Virgo, you're looking really good financially. And I feel like, listen, you need to not be putting your Christmas tree with all your gifts in front of the window that's wide open on the street. You need to be, um, what's the word I want to use? You need to be more, you need to not flaunt your, I just feel like you have wealth, you have, you look like you've got stuff going on. You look like you're in a good place financially, maybe to this person. You need to like, I don't know, you need to walk around in rags and act as if you're, you know, broke as ever, that you got nothing to share, you have nothing to offer, you know, you go get some sneakers or shoes or something from the thrift store, they're all torn up and start wearing them around so nobody can approach you. I just feel, normally I would say, you know, yeah, it's fine to wear nice clothes and look good and stuff, but you need to give the appearance that you don't have anything because I feel like not only this person, but others might be attracted to you because you just give off this air of wealth and abundance, okay? Yeah, I see you're all right. You're enjoying the fruits of your labors. You've been working hard. You didn't get where you are because you just, you know, cheated your way up the ladder there. Okay, some of you are trying to buy yourself something special. Some of you might be employed. I mean, you're enjoying your solitude in a lot of ways, and it shows that you're working hard, but I just feel like you need to be a little more conservative at this time period with what you show. Okay, so don't, don't flaunt your newest bags or your newest digs or things like that anywhere for this person that, that they might see because that's like a magnet to them because of their situation this is like someone who's grasping grasping at straws drowning grasping at straws to stay alive don't give this person any straws this person i they just said this person may give you a loan they come in and give you a loan and make you think they're going to pay you back or give you money first of all it's it's fraudulent and second of all the purpose of them giving it to you is because then they're going to come and ask to borrow some from you it's not even their money that's what i just heard they're going to give you a loan based off of somebody else's credit or somebody else's money oh it's a it's a credit card there's a stolen credit card or like a credit card in somebody else's name it doesn't belong to them they're going to give it to you to use to take a cash withdrawal and so they can get the cash. Holy, holy. Sometimes these messages I get, I mean, it's a fraudulent card. Be careful. Because you're going to get pinned for stealing. Don't accept any. <laughs> God, I'm out. This is, this is insane. Okay. Six of Swords. I feel like you need to like step out of your comfort zone and get away from this person. Fast. Pronto. Yeah, I absolutely do. Because I kind of get a sense that this person, like you need to like transition away from them. Some of you need to relocate or move. Or like not give out your address or not tell them where you live. This could be a friend or some. All right, one more. Okay, the Empress. It's Libra and energy here. You need to take action. Yeah, you're in abundance. You have prosperity. You're definitely, listen, you're not dependent on anybody. Or you're at least not giving off 
that you are and you're not but you listen you got to be given off this energy empress in reverse where you have like limited resources and you cannot help somebody who might be trying to come in and like i don't know live off of you or you know because you're doing so well that they just want your money that's how i feel this is not even romantic at all <laughs> all right let's see let's get a charm okay so you've got the sun all right you guys some of you some of you there's a leo monkey okay be careful of the monkey no offense to anybody here who's a monkey but monkeys are mischievous and tricksters and they like to play now it that just this person for some of you this person like you know monkeys are fun i have a couple of monkey friends and and they're fun to be with but then there's the negative monkeys who are just a real you know they're tricksters um so that's the first message i'm getting here this person is somewhere or someone is somewhere where it's sunny and the bananas grow in the trees or that's where they're coming from <laughs> where do bananas grow in trees i don't even know what do i know about that what do i know about that is it mexico or this person is a, they've escaped to mexico why does this feel like forensic files or something <laughs> or some kind of crime story the drama, Virgo. The drama. Oh, oh, look at this. We have an electric guitar. You know, if anybody plays an electric guitar, this is your message. This is your message. You might have somebody here who's just coming in and giving you the love stuff, but no, they're trying to get money from you. They're trying to live off of you. They're trying, they're gonna steal like harsh. Careful, hide your guitars. If you have a, I know this is not for everybody, but I just have to say, if you have an expensive guitar, like, I don't know, a Gibson or an Ibanez or something, you need to like hide that. That might be the first thing to go. Hey, they're love readings, you guys. Love doesn't always mean it's going to be great. Okay, somebody bets at the dog track is there a dog track is there such a thing i think there is not a horse a horse track it's like a dog track greyhound greyhounds do they yeah don't greyhounds race or something i'm just picking up a dog track now somebody who might also be a dog the chinese sign the dog um 1970 1982 um 19 or no wait 1982 1994 and these dates 1994 and 2006 and 2018 doesn't have to be birth dates but these are just years that might be connecting to you with this reading this person might actually have a dog or you have a dog okay let's see what else all right you've got yep listen you guys the cards don't lie my cards don't lie my messages don't lie the only time it will lie is if it's not your reading <laughs> and it doesn't happen to you. But some of you, I know you're like, this is exactly what's going on. You have a padlock here. There's, there's, a, there's a reason for that. You have a padlock here. Lock up your sisters. Lock up your daughters. <laughs> You've got to like keep your shit locked up <laughs> at this time. You got to keep this stuff locked up. Do I think they're going to actually get away with stealing from you? No. Others who haven't listened to this message, maybe. But you guys are, have been forewarned. I don't think they're going to get away with it, but I think they're going to try. And I feel like the strongest message here for you is um, pay attention. Don't gaslight yourself or don't let yourself be, you know, 
lulled to sleep by their charm and or their apology okay 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 all right let's go and take a look at the singles let's see what's going on for your love life hi everybody yeah i'm not really like feeling sassy right now because I feel like these messages that are coming through are pretty serious and I, I'm kind of like I don't I'm not feeling like maybe the singles reading will be a little bit better and there won't be like <laughs> too much seriousness here all right let's take a look how's everybody doing how you guys doing everyone in the chat hello if you have not joined in the chat, please do. It's so much fun. Come into my chat house and meet everybody. Hi. Hi, um, Brittany. Hi, Keezy. Hi, Charity. Hi, Glenda. Hi, Antoinette. Hello, everyone else in the chat. All right, just give me a second. I want to shuffle. So I want to take a look and see this. Um, love messages here. Virgo, who's coming in for Virgo? Show Virgo, who's coming in for Virgo singles? Virgo singles. Okay. We've got the chariot. You have the seven of pentacles. Some of you are going to meet somebody at a bus stop. You're going to meet someone at a bus stop. Uh, at, at a bus stop. In about a week. From now. You might be walking by them. Maybe some of you take a bus or a train. There's some type of transportation. Um, some of you are buying a new car and the sales, the car salesperson, not the person from your past reading, this car person, salesperson is gonna be like, it's gonna be love at first sight, okay? Um, they just said. Oh. And then others, I don't know if you're going, if you're traveling or you're going to some kind of like outdoor festival or a show or something, um, you're going to meet this person there. They're going to be selling something. Um, I'm just seeing like, there's like a, like a tall shelf of something and it's going to have, I don't know if they sell mirrors. I feel like they might be selling mirrors or frames with pictures or something hanging or like stacked up on a shelf there's things hanging and they're reflective could be like or some it could just be uh, it's like at a, some kind of fair or festival or a, like a downtown store kind of thing you know it's like outside okay what else It's like, okay, downtown or outside the town, or if you're traveling somewhere where there's going to be some kind of, it's like, I feel like in seven days, it's, it's an event that's happening next week or in seven days. Okay, it could be a Cancer, it could be a um, Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Let me see what else. Okay. Um, okay some of you might have like a charity thing going on or you have like a fundraiser and this is a separate message you might have like a fundraiser and for Oh, like a GoFundMe or something for someone that may have passed away or are taking donations 
in a church or something, um, there's going to be somebody that makes a donation to whatever this thing is that you might have, or you might be contributing that, um, investing in something like that. There's some person who runs some kind of a foundation of some sort, whether it's you or they, there's going to be a connection made there. Okay, they just gave me three cards. Wow. For some, it's a Scorpio, it's a Leo, or an Aries. Um, it could be something to do with like a father figure or a prominent, important person um, or someone that's like kind of on higher, high ranking. Um, there's a lot of grief attached to this, but this is kind of like an open, an open thing where you can, um, where you can, where there's like a donations being made for the loss of somebody. I'm not predicting the death of someone close to you. I feel like this is some, this is not that. It it could be already happened recently. Um, now let me just tell you who is this. All right, so it's connected to some kind of like event or a fundraiser of some sort. It's bizarre. But let me see who this person is. Give okay, me Piscean energy. Okay, so this this person comes through as they're very wealthy. <laughs> they have like they're very financially independent. They're completely single. Could be a Pisces. Um, this person is completely single. I'm seeing. Um, what do you call those people that they do that for a living, where they raise money? And they raise money for people. I don't know the term. I can't think of it. Um, maybe a, like a, I don't know, financial planner. Or they, they raise money for whatever. You guys tell me. You guys post in the comments or in the chat. I can't think of what it's called. Um, but let's see. Oh, you guys. Oh my gosh. You're going to, you already know that this is someone from when you were young or from that you knew before. Okay. You, this is somebody that you knew before. Okay. There's, there's definitely going to be like some exchange made between the two of you. It's like, you haven't seen each other in a really long time. You're going to see each other. I'm like, oh my gosh, how are you? How you been? Did you go to the reunion or, um, I haven't seen you in such a long time. There's like, there's a reconnection being made here. This is somebody maybe from your childhood um, that knew someone who's connected to some kind of fundraiser. If it's like raising like a GoFundMe or something, there's like a love connection. Somebody comes in and invests in something or like they drop a coin in the, the piggy bank <laughs> to help out. Okay. Very much, very much this energy going. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's travel involved in this as well. Um, now, there might be like some of you might be at like uh, find out about a funeral or something and you donate something, maybe some flowers or some joy or money or something. It's connected to um, like somebody's grandfather that passes away or an elderly person. Um, this might be someone that you knew when you were younger and you guys reconnect because of this passing away of someone. That's what I feel like how you're going to meet this person. I mean, I mean, for some of you, you could be at like somebody's funeral. <laughs> Again, I'm not predicting that. This is for those of you who are like, yep, that's on the table. Or, I don't feel like it's like connected to you. I mean, for some of you, it could be like an, an elderly person passing away um, or is just ill. Okay, they could be ill right now. And somehow that event, whether it's connected to you or not, that event brings in you connecting to somebody else that you knew from the past that, you know, 
This is such a strange message. When these messages come out, I'm just like, the heck? Okay, so that's, there's two different messages. Okay, that's two different messages. Now, you'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. Let's pull a couple more cards to see if there's anybody else coming through here for you. Yeah, there's like flowers being donated or a reception or something. Or it could, for some of you, it could even be a celebration of somebody's life. Let's see. It's tied to some grief and sadness as well. All right, what else? What else? Who else is Virgo going to be connecting with? Oh, okay. <laughs> I love when this comes out because it just it just screamed at me. Okay, some of you are meeting someone famous or a performer. Um, this person might do magic tricks for all the boys and girls. <laughs> but this person is definitely in the public eye. It could be Gemini or Aquarius. Um, but yeah, this is like they're a performer of some sort. Let's see. They bring healing. They bring magic. Um, maybe it's like a cult leader. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but they're in the public eye and they're in front of others. That's how I feel. They're in the, This person is in the public eye and they are in front of others. Okay, they make a lot of money. This person is super, super wealthy. Super, super wealthy. Wow. Um. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's all they're saying about that. This person is just insanely wealthy. <laughs> All right. I was asking in my head where you're going to meet this person, and they got you out in the woods hiking. So <laughs> that's the message. If you're out, you're going to be out. You could be traveling. You're going to be going, or just you could be out on your own. Okay? You might be in like, it feels like isolation. Like you're doing something on your own. I don't know if some of you like, I don't know if some of this is when you're away from home or they're away from home. I don't know if you're going on some kind of excursion or you're climbing some mountains or you're just exploring um, the earth or something. You're gonna you're gonna meet this person while you're out there by yourself. Like you guys, it feels like kismet. Like you're both gonna be at the same place at the same time, doing the same thing, and that's how you're gonna connect. But you're gonna find out that this person is like famous or they're super wealthy um, or there's some kind of a performer and this person's they're out there they go on these hikes or these retreats or these journeys or walks or something because it's like a healing thing maybe it'll be like some kind of a zen retreat or something you're going to meet them at um some of you, this is going to be somebody who's like a performer at a casino as well, which is a very bizarre message. Or they're like, maybe not the performer. They could be part, connected to a performer. So they would be like, um, you know, like a manager. <laughs> mm. King of Pentacles. So Virgo Taurus or Capricorn. So this person's coming in very, very wealthy. It feels more like it's the manager. They're, they're connected to a performer, but they manage, they invest. They might be a producer, um, but they invest in this person's career. Okay, and they could also be like, um, I, w I wouldn't say someone that stands at like the card table dealing out cards. They might be like in a casino where they manage the money. 
Okay, it's big money though. It's not, you know, nickels and dimes and pennies and, you know, that kind of thing. It's big, big money. Cool. Okay. So they just said, yeah, it's someone who who's like a producer or they they invest in this performer. They're part of the act. The performer is a female. It's a female. You might be going to a concert or a casino or you go somewhere. The performer is a female. Okay? So she's up there in front of the public eye doing whatever. Now for some of you, um, Um, if your preference is females, for some of you, um, it could be the, it could be, um, a female performer that you have some type of, um, connection with here. And for those of you interested in males, it's the person who is managing the performer. Okay. This person, unfortunately, comes across to me as they just don't have time for love at this time because they're so busy, either they're on the road um, or they just feel quite unfulfilled. But I do feel like connecting with them is really going to surprise them. Or surprise them. Connecting with you is really going to surprise them. It comes, yes. Ace of Cups, it comes in unexpected. It's like heaven sent. There's going to definitely be a connection. Now, some of you might be meeting <laughs> all three people at different times. And for others, this could just be separate energy. So you're just going to have to see how this plays out. Um, and I feel like I'm going to have this, this. It just feels like the energy is going into December for the singles. Okay. Now, listen. It is meeting somebody. It is not, oh, you're going to meet and get married right away. It's just, this is the making the connection with somebody new coming into your life. Um, so that's kind of what I feel like is going on here. This is, some of these stories are really crazy. Like these messages, not stories, these messages that come in. I know because it kind of sounds like a, you know, a Netflix episode here coming in, but it's so much fun. You're going to have to definitely let me know if this plays out for you, but I'm going to leave your reading here. Awesome. 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 Thank you for connecting. Um, if you want to get a mini reading from me, there's a link in the description box below, as I always say. And also, um, I'm here Friday evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I go live. You can pop in the chat, donate $20 with a question, and I will pull a card for you. If you have any, like, immediate or something's just you want to ask questions you just want to ask angel see what your angels and guides have what messages they have for you you could ask how things are going to go um you know the rest of the month you can ask to look ahead the next three months i'll pull a card to see you can add more money and get a little bit more in depth with the reading you just pay it through super chat so it's already set up okay um, so that's Friday evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm there for two hours. All right, so my time, I'm on the East Coast, so it's 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern, okay? So I don't, you'll have to figure out what your time zone is to make sure you catch it. But it's a lot of fun. Definitely check it out. And again, 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 please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Please do subscribe, most importantly. But also, you guys, hit the notification bell. Some of you do have it <clears throat> excuse me, ticked. But remember, even if you have the notification bell ticked, you, some of you may have to go into your settings in your phone to make sure it's enabled in your phone as well. Because sometimes just ticking the bell... If you don't have notifications enabled on your phone, you're not going to get notified. Okay, so those are two separate things. YouTube is different from your phone. <laughs> so make sure you have your notifications, announcements, alerts enabled in your phone if you've already ticked the bell and you're not getting alerts from me. All right, you guys. So, yep, there's your reading. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic night. Take care.